Introducing the Attendant 5 liter Oxygen Concentrator from Direct Supply. This video will walk you through how to set up and maintain your device. When unpacking the concentrator, check for any obvious damage to the carton or its contents. If damage to the concentrator is evident, notify your Direct Supply account manager. Remove all loose packing from the carton, then carefully remove all the components of the device. Inspect all accessories for damage as well. Examine the exterior of the oxygen concentrator for nicks, dents, scratches, or other damage. After inspection, plug the concentrator into a 120-volt grounded AC power source. Turn on the concentrator by pressing the power switch. As the concentrator warms up, the lights on the front will blink in sequence. When only the green light remains lit, your oxygen concentrator is ready for use. The attendant 5-liter oxygen concentrator can be set up for use either with or without a humidifier bottle. After removing the nasal cannula from its plastic packaging, connect the cannula to the oxygen outlet on the concentrator. After removing the cannula and humidifier bottle from their packaging, unscrew the cover of the humidifier bottle. Add purified or distilled water to the bottle. Ensure the water falls between the minimum and maximum indicators on the side of the bottle. Note, replace the water in the humidifier bottle every day and clean the humidifier bottle weekly. Screw the cover back onto the humidifier bottle and connect the oxygen hose. Insert the humidifier bottle into the elastic strap on the front of the concentrator and then connect the oxygen hose to the oxygen outlet on the concentrator. Attach the nasal cannula to the humidifier bottle. When used in a clean environment, the concentrator typically requires no filter cleaning or changes for one year. More frequent cleaning and filter changes may be required if you are operating the concentrator in a dusty environment you are operating the concentrator continuously, or your facility policy requires more frequent maintenance. Note, for nasal cannula upkeep, please see your manufacturer's recommendations. Turn off the power switch and unplug the concentrator from the 120 volt AC power source. Using a soft, dry cloth, a damp sponge, or alcohol-based wipes, clean only the outside of the concentrator. Do not use acetone, solvents, or any other inflammable products, and do not allow any liquids to enter the cabinet. Remove the locking screw and the access door on the left side of the concentrator. Unscrew the filter retention frame, and remove the cabinet filter from the door. Wash the cabinet filter with water and completely air dry before reassembling and returning to service. Reassemble the filter, retention frame and door, then place the door back on the cabinet. Reinsert the access door locking screw. Remove the access door on the left side of the concentrator. Take hold of the filter and lift up while using a twisting motion. To install a new filter, insert the plastic tube on the filter into the rubber fitting. Press down and twist until the filter is fully seated. Reattach the access door. Disassemble the bottle in two. Either wipe down all parts with or immerse all parts in an approved disinfectant and or a 10 to 1 water vinegar solution. Do not use bleach as it is too harsh for this application. After disinfecting, rinse all parts with water and to completely air dry before reassembling and returning to service. Finally, it is recommended to replace the humidifier bottle tube once a year. Now that your oxygen concentrator has been inspected and the cannula is attached, either with or without a humidifier bottle, your unit is ready to be used as prescribed by your residence doctor. For more information, including full specifications, or to purchase your own attendant oxygen concentrator, visit directsupply.net.